just over the top of the hill they came on the patch of firwood. Leaving the road, they went into the deep resin-scented darkness of the trees, and gathered dead sticks and cones to make a fire. Soon they had a merry crackle of flame at the foot of a large fir tree, and they sat around it for a while, until they began to nod. Then, each in an angle of the great tree's roots, they curled up in their cloaks and blankets, and were soon fast asleep. They set no watch. Even Frodo feared no danger yet, for they were still in the heart of the Shire. A few creatures came and looked at them when the fire had died away. A fox, passing through the wood on business of his own, stopped several minutes and sniffed. Hobbits, he thought. Well, what next? I have heard of strange doings in this land, but I have seldom heard of a hobbit sleeping out of doors. Under a tree, three of them. There's something mighty queer behind this. He was quite right, but he never found out any more about it.